My name is Valerie Yamponsa. I am a filmmaker, a director, and a writer. I studied um, psychology at York University. Um, I was very interested in, I still am, in how like people think, their thought process, their motivations, and their desires. What inspired me to get into filmmaking is that I like I love telling stories and I love telling stories from um from like a place where like people don't really go like in their emotions and how they feel and how they think. So like for example, like mental health is so taboo in the black community and I love speaking about taboo things and I think it's important that we speak about like mental health because it just affects us in so many ways where we don't really realize. Initially, my story was only supposed to be about my parents and the immigration uh, story from Ghana to Canada, like why they came, um, why they left Ghana, um, and things like that, um, and how like they settled and how that impacted their mental health and how they individually dealt with their mental health. Right, like my mom, um, just like dealing with the pressures of like raising a young family and like having to work and have, being in a country where you don't know the language you have to learn, you don't know anything, the structure and things like that. So it was originally supposed to be about that. And my mom handles like her mental well being through like church and having that community and my dad through like substance abuse. So that was originally what my story was supposed to be about. It wasn't supposed to include me. But with documentary filmmaking, it's like it's very raw and like whatever happens while filming um, that's what happens and you follow the story. So what happened on the first day of shooting, actually, um, while I was interviewing my dad, like he wasn't, he was upsetting me because he wasn't answering the questions um, as honestly as he could, right? So at one point, like I walked away um, and then just to collect myself. And then when I came back, the producer was like, you know what, I think you, I should interview you and your dad together. So she interviewed us together and that's where like, where um, I guess the real story revealed itself and the story was more between like me and my dad and our relationship um, and how like his choices specifically like with alcohol abuse affected me and affected my mom and my sisters. So that's where um, I decided to build the story. It's not, I can't express it, how I feel the way I hate them. Okay, so when I showed my mom, my dad actually has not watched it to date, mm -hmm. which is fine, yes way. He hasn't watched it and I understand like why he wouldn't, so I kind of left that as that. Um, so when I showed my mom like in our house, she was very like nonchalant about it, she was like, okay, and she didn't have really much to say. But then when it screened at the Toronto Black Film Festival and like on the big screen and I like brought my family there, um, at the end, like she came up to me and she gave me a hug and she was crying. And I think she was proud of me. Um, and also I feel like this whole experience was very cathartic for her and very healing for her. Like even while I was interviewing my mom, um, like I got all the information I need, but I could tell like she just wanted to talk and she had so much things on her heart to say. So I just like let her talk and it was interesting because she was talking in tree to me. Um, and then like the crew was there, but they didn't understand what she was saying. So I just let her like talk and let her get everything out. And yeah, so I, I think my mom, like she's proud of me and I think it's it was a healing process for her as it was for me. Uh, with my sisters, they're also crying too. <laughs> also, I think they're like proud of me as well. And um, And they know like what our family has been through. So I think it was similar. It was like a healing process for them as well. So they actually received it really, really well. Um, and yeah, like I mentioned, like my dad hasn't watched the video, which it doesn't bother me because I understand like why he wouldn't watch it.
Um, so it's been really successful, which I'm happy about. So it's been in a few film, a few film festivals, um, like the Toronto Black Film Festival this year, the Montreal Black Film Festival, Halifax Black Film Festival, um, the New Filmmakers LA uh, Film Festival, which is in LA, the Columbus International Film Festival, which is in Columbus, and more recently, um, actually earlier in October, the Sin Fan Festival, which happens in Toronto. So it's getting a lot of exposure, which I'm happy about. Um, and I really hope it's like facilitating conversations about like mental health and why it's so taboo in like our community and like in the black community and things like that. Some of the advice is honestly just believing in yourself and believing in your story and also just like shooting stuff, like not waiting to get money, not waiting to for someone to like validate you, just knowing that whatever you have is enough and like your iPhone, your DSLR is enough to just go out there and start shooting. And also just like reaching out to people and finding mentors and just asking questions about the industry so they're aware. Um, that's the main thing. And also like getting on set just so you understand like, okay, like this, what a cinematographer does and what like a gaffer does and just like little things. So once like you make it big, you understand those type of, um, those type of positions in the film. But yeah, it's just really believing yourself and shooting stuff and not waiting and confidence. When people hurt you, you don't always get the apology you want. But sometimes, Acceptance is enough. My name is Valerie Ponsa. I am a writer, director, and filmmaker, and you're watching Ganalix TV.